Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Trailblazers. This one's designed by Ryan Courtney as well as published by Bitewing Games who are helping sponsor this playthrough. If you're not familiar with Ryan Courtney, he designed a game called Pipeline mm -hmm. as well as Curious Cargo. That's right. Which uses these kind of unique cards that uh, align to create long routes. And we're doing something very, very similar by creating trails in this game. In a much smaller, uh, faster kind of scale, right? Yes. Yeah, this one plays one to eight players in about roughly 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. The game also comes with a solo mode, as well as a couple of expansions for a variety of modes of play. And so, as per usual, we are going to start with a quick teach of the game and go into our full two-player playthrough. If you're interested in jumping around, we'll include timestamps down below. Now, before we continue, we do have to let you know this is a prototype. This is considered a high-quality one, in my mm -hmm. opinion, but uh, things are subject to change in the future. If you are interested in this campaign, there will be a link down in the description below. Also, if you do like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. Mm -hmm. So, if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Trailblazers. Welcome to... Uh, to the beginning of the trail, there's yes, it hasn't started yet. Yes, it's a blank yet. canvas right now. <laughs> we, we, yeah, it's going to expand. In this game, we're going to be building out a variety of different trails. And so each player has three camp cards. They're all identical. They are of three different colors, and they basically represent three different modes of transportation. Mm -hmm. We have the brown hiking gear shop, yep. this like reddish uh, bike shack, the bike shack, and yeah. the blue kayak corner. Yeah. And so, of course, this is kayaking, biking, and hiking. Things you would find on trails. Exactly. Yes. And so the game is played over the course of four rounds. At the start of each round, each player is going to be handed eight of these trail cards. And so as you can see, each card shows a different combination of those three different types of, uh, of trails. Yep. And so each round, we're going to be drafting two of these trail cards to add to our trail each turn. And then passing the rest of our hand to either our left or our right, depending on player count. So in a two-player game, we're just going to be passing it back and, forth. back and forth. The last two cards in our hand are going to get discarded. And so each round, you're drafting a total of six trail cards to add to your trail. Now, before we add our trail cards to our trail, at the start of each round, we're also going to be selecting one of our three camps to add. And so at the start of the game, we're just choosing one uh, to kind of start off our entire map. And each time you draft a pair of trail cards, you're going to be adding them to your map. And so for the placement rules, they must be placed orthogonally adjacent to one that's already on your map. Sure. So I can do something like this because you do not have to match uh, like type trails with the like type camp, but it is in your best interest to do so. So that totally. might not be best. I could do something like this mm -hmm. and then I could do something like this. Or uh, you're also technically allowed to overlap. So if I wanted to, I could do something like this. If I wanted to maybe make two different uh, routes leaving the camp. I don't know if this is ideal. <laughs> this is just an example just right here. Just an example, yes. Yes. Now, a couple of other rules are you cannot put cards underneath cards that have already been placed and diagonals don't count. They must be orthogonally adjacent. In addition, you cannot overlap the camp. But you could do something like this. Say I wanted to overlap this and then play something like this in the future because our goal here is we are trying to create loops that leave and uh, return to the same colored camp. Right. And so in this example, I have made my first loop, which is right here. This is my first biking loop. And so at the end of the game, I'm going to score points for this loop since it's completed. And the amount of points that you score are equal to the number of features along that trail. So you'll see features along each bend as well as uh, each intersection, just like this card right here. Mm -hmm. And so if I were to score this trail, this would score me one, two, three points because of all three features that I found there. That's it. Yeah, there's no uh, scoring points for these trees that you see here. Yeah, exactly. It's just the, the features along the trail. And so once we've drafted and placed all six of our trail cards for the first round, then we reset for the second round, leaving everything as it is, mm -hmm. and we choose a new camp to add. So we're basically going to do this for a total of four rounds. At the end of the fourth round, we should have a large, uh, a large winding path set up with all three of our camps laid out. And then you go into endgame scoring. Before we talk about that, though, I do want to mention that we also have two in-game cards. And so the game comes with several of these. We just play with two of them each game. Yep. And these are essentially a race to fulfill whatever it says on the card. And so the two that we're playing with today are confined quarters, which says you have to have two camps with no empty space around them. Diagonals don't count. Right. And so the first person to completely fulfill this will get six points. You just place your own uh, player card on the six-point spot. If we both complete that in the exact same turn, then we can both 
get six points, sure. which is fine. Whoever gets it next gets three points. The other one that we're playing with is a loop junkie. And so this says you have to have two camps with three loops each. So I already have one camp with one Sorry. loop. Yeah. It might be in my best interest to complete smaller loops in order to uh, to make this happen. Yep. But you can also be kind of ambitious and make a bigger loop. It's up to you. Yeah, and this again is a race. So whoever does it first gets more points. Exactly. In addition to the two in-game goals, we also have two end-of-game goals that we're going to be evaluating once we finish the game. The two that we're playing with today are Forever Float. Mm -hmm. So this is going to go to the longest single kayaking loop. So you want one again. of these that just winds and winds yes. and winds and eventually gets back to the kayak trail. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and the other one is the harmonizer. And this is the most complete sets of loops. And so a set, of course, is one of each type. So you're going to look at uh, which of the three camps you have the least number of loops. Sure. And that's what you're going to use as your criteria. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the game, of course, we score for all four of these. We score for all of our completed loops, counting all of the features. And in our specific gameplay, we are going to be playing with one of the two uh, main expansions that come with the game, and it's going to be the Animals expansion. Off screen, we have six of these different types of animals, so like these are moose. And so if you can kind of see really closely, some of these trail cards have animals on them. They're primarily ones that have a, a longer uh, kind of two-section two trail. Two segments, yep. And so anytime we place these cards in that moment, you must decide if you want to place that uh, corresponding animal on the card. If so, you are no longer allowed to overlap on that card. Yeah, you can't it overbuild. Is, you cannot overbuild on those cards anymore. But at the end of the game, you're going to score extra points depending on how many unique animal types you have on completed loops. Right. And so if this goes, if this does not actually lead to a completed uh, brown loop, then this is not going to score me anything. Yeah, all you did was stifle your options to yeah. build out on that one. And so it might have been in my best interest to place the bear here, although it wouldn't have been legal because I had to overlap it in order to create this loop. Yeah. So lots of decision making that we're going to be faced with during our gameplay. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the game, the amount of points that we score is dependent on how many unique types we have per trail. And it's going to be 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21 points if you can get all six, all six. different animals types on one trail that's never really seen it do. done <laughs> not not uh in this grouping not, of people not us, no. <laughs> and that's about it so we're just gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and then get started with our playthrough okay so we are ready to go we have shuffled all the cards passed out eight to each of us and there is no turn order because yes. this is a drafting game so mm -hmm. we're just gonna get right into it if it wasn't apparent this is all simultaneous play all simultaneous, yeah. and uh, now that we are at the start of round one you actually get to take a look at the trail cards that you were handed before you make a decision as to which camp to start with yes it's a really important decision it is important because if you know ryan courtney <laughs> you know that these decisions are not easy you got to plan so what are you gonna do naveen <laughs> i think i know which one i'm gonna start with yeah, me too. I'm All right. My... I'm starting with my bike shack. Kayak. Oh, good. We've chosen different ones. Yes. Now, remember, Naveen, if you're starting with your kayak, this, I mean, oh, that, that might be a good thing because you can get started on forever float. Yes. So I'm just going to start my bike shack here. If we uh, feel that we need to expand um, the space, then we'll do so later. Sure. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yes. So choose two cards. Two cards. And then we'll pass uh, our hand over. Ready? Yes, I have my two. These are my two. So I'm going to okay. go ahead and pass these to you now. Okay, before we make a mistake. Yeah, there do you that. Go. There you go. Thank you. All right. I'm placing, Place. I'm placing these here, if I remember yeah. correctly. That's right. And I guess I'll go like that. Ah, I wanted to do. Interesting. I don't know if that's actually what I wanted to do, but I'm going. Yeah, okay. That, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. You for have this. this trail coming out this way. You can loop around. Well, in. I was thinking about. Over, well, we'll see. I was thinking about overlapping, okay. but maybe I'm thinking a little bit too ambitiously. You got to be a little bit cautious because. Speaking it's of overlapping, not that long. Animals, you cannot overlap. But I see you have a moose there. Are you gonna be doing a moose? Oh, I should. Yes. That's a foundational loop. I don't see myself needing to overlap on that. So I'm going to place a moose right okay, there. So and well. This moose is, it always goes into the center. center. The animal goes in the center. And it's specific to a trail. So the moose is going to be specific to the brown trail. The long trail. The long one, yeah. Yeah, you'll notice on all the cards, like my card, for example, I placed this one here. It has a bear along the long trail. So yeah. I will take the bear. You'll take the bear? Mind. Yeah, and I'm going to place it on. It's a foundational uh, exit point. It's bold. I don't have any plans. On moving that bear Let's forget that forget the red yes no more the red is non-existent there right. and then so now this one is just going to kind of go in this vertical fashion cool all right all right two more cards next two all right i've drafted my two you have yours okay okay i'm gonna go with these two here you all go right. <laughs> Pass. let's see if i know what i'm all doing all right it's girl it's early i need to remember that so i'm doing these two yep uh these two. i think i'm going to 
add this wolf. Hey, you got yourself a, wolf. a little loop. I do, yes. I've created my first loop. First this, one. This uh, bike trail is completed. So this has a wolf on it. Keeping and it. clearly, I'm going to keep that yeah, because loop. I've created a loop. Along so that one, yeah. It's just going to be one point, but hey, still a point. Points are points. This also has a moose over here, but seeing as the this is a brown trail, I'm not really confident that I'll be able to lead it back to wherever I put the, the brown camp, so I'm going to leave it. So you're not committed to I'm it? I'm not committed. Yeah, you no, can I'm start some brown over. If you just put your brown camp here, you'd That's have a loop. That's the goal. Yeah, there's already a loop, so I'm too scared to try to bring that over here. Yeah. I'm not adventurous enough, It's a lot of work. I must say. All right, so the two, I'm going to kind of offset it this way so I don't forget what I just did. So okay. I'm going to place this one in here. Nice. Connecting that. Nice thing. Uh, I have a puma. <laughs> that is a bobcat. Bobcat. Here you go. Bobcat. There you go. There you go. So it's going to be that one there, and then this is just going to come on in. No animals on this one, but we're getting moving. All right. We're moving. So last two cards. We are here. We're at the last two cards of the first round, yes. so choose wisely. All right. I'm going with these two. Are you Same. ready? Yeah, these last two. two. The so other two are good. trash pile. Get discarded. Okay. Okay, connect. Your <sighs> final trails of the first round. First round. So, 24 okay. total we're going to be playing, so... I don't remember what... I, oh, here. I think this is what I had that planned. That was the yeah, easy to, um, easy to get lost. Easy to forget that. Yeah. I guess it's the exact same thing, isn't it? I think it just depends. No, it's the exact same thing. Oh, mm. Ryan, Courtney. <laughs> you and your trail design. Okay. So I'm going to go with wow, that. Wow, you got another little loop. And this, yeah. You're taking the singles. I've, I have a I have a second loop mm -hmm. right there. Um, I also have, so this has an animal. And I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to put that animal there. But this has an eagle. Oh, that's a good eagle. Yeah, am I going to overlap this? I guess I mean, that's not. a good location to start a blue trail. Let's do it. There you go. Kayak trail, that is. I've made my decision. Yeah. I placed the eagle. Does yours have it? All right, so this one does not. So okay. I'm trying to set up my uh, my hiking trail because mm -hmm. I need a brown one because everything was focused on blue. I see. And then I'm going to bring in this one here. This one does have a buffalo, and I do... Oh, man. I... <laughs> What do you think, Naveen? Like, okay, so if if I if I put this here, uh -huh. right, then that means I cannot like do a quick shunt and then like come back in. You can't overlap. Yeah, this is again when we when we play with the animal expansion, you have to make the decision in the moment upon placing the, the trail if you're going to add the animal. By so, doing it, I, I, by putting the animal right, it yeah. would be a one three. Most likely, I'm not going to get another animal coming in here. I, I can't mean, plan for that animal. You never know. So I'm only costing myself two points here by having the flexibility to close off this thing. Oh, okay. I will, I will not put the animal. Okay. Unfortunately. I would have, I would have made the same decision. Oh, yeah. That's a uh, kind of a hard, uh, so early. You have three more rounds. Yeah. And I need, I need to get back in here and yeah. just wrap that up. Yeah. Keep your options open. All right. Are you ready for the second round? Yes. So another eight, another eight cards, yep. eight cards per person. And then we are going to decide what our second camp is. Six, seven, eight. Yep. Eight. Okay. Great. So Ooh. take a look at your cards and see. Well, oh yeah, this is great. I'm definitely going but, to choose yeah. my. Uh, I'm doing this one. Oh, you too. We're competing for the same gear shop things. Well, I had kind of set that up here, and I didn't want that to to be for not. For not. Yes. Yeah. So for not. the thing that would have been great is if I could kind of like do this and then make this longer because mm -hmm. I'm greedy and I would like this to be more points, but <sighs> you can't do that because no. everything must be orthogonally adjacent. I'll, I'll so, do this. Doing that. I don't, I don't anticipate this, but hopefully I can make this a thing. I do anticipate having to move my entire trail soon. So The triple loop is not looking like a thing I'm going to be doing in this game. Yeah, maybe. All right. Are you ready to choose? I am ready to choose. Choose yes. your first two cards. All right. I'm right. going with these two. Got right, these two. All right. Here, here you go. go. There's your, your hand. Here. I'm going to add this here. It's cheap and easy. Okay. So I'm doing it. Oh, what a cheap loop. I'm going to add the moose. Seen a moose. To, I mean, it's only, this Ooh, is two, look at that this is literally going to be set. one, two, three points. That's it. But this is what I like. I, the yeah, water thing. The kayak is a problem for me. And then I think I'm going to do this. Like, uh, what do you think? Oh, what was I thinking? Like this, like this. I'm mm. going to do this. I'm leaving some options open. Okay. See I see I what you Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this one in here. Okay. We have a bear on the trail, and we've closed off my very first loop. Nice. Congrats. Are you, I'm assuming you want the bear? I do, yes. Here you go. Let's put the bear down there. Okay. And then this one I'm going to kind of set up here so I can maybe get some, like, strange loopings in here. Yeah. We shall see. <laughs> and then I do have a little wolf over here. Are you? Oh, risky. I'm going to take the wolf. You're going to take the wolf? I'm taking it. Oh. 
Very interesting. Yes. There you go. I'm going to place the wolf right right there. So Good that's going to go to your blue path. In fact, I think the wolf is drinking water. So let's go like that. Sure. <laughs> All right. Next two. Next two. All right. I'm going to go with these two. Yeah, these two. All right. Here you go. There you Swap go. already. Um, I'm going to close this out uh, now okay. ASAP while I can. So I'm placing this out. here. Okay. I'm placing this one here. I'm placing this here. So I've closed out this loop. Wow. This one right there. And I'm definitely not putting the eagle there because I am too Scaredy. risk averse, sure. <laughs> I guess. So I'm leaving it as is. Okay. So I think I have three loops here. But in order to fulfill the confined quarters, oh, no, not that, sorry. The loop junkie, you have to have two camps with three loops each. So I'm just missing one more over here. You just need that one that's just like a little whoop, and then, yeah. and then you'll get it. And hopefully I can fill that in and do the confined quarters Yeah, I hope well. you don't do that. Um, <laughs> I'm warning you, that's be, the goal. I'd be losing quite a bit. Uh, this is going to come here. <laughs> Uh, so okay. can I have a buffalo, please? I don't think it's going to be doing anything, but... Then why do it? Because um, you can completely overlap a trail card. I could, but um, so... I, I anticipate being able to just, you know, kind of loop in here and then just be, like, done with this really big, long blue one. But I guess the thing is, if the the buffalo is not going to do anything for you, why put it? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the last one I'm going to add is going to be this one here. Oh, ah, okay. Some, some brown. Open up some options for you. Some brown. You okay. Know. So here we go. We're choosing Ooh. our last two trail cards of the round. We are. Uh, all right. I have my two. You ready? Yeah, I guess I'm going to go with these two. So these other uh, two are trashed. All right. Here you go. That was, that was a tough decision. <sighs> um, I'm connecting here. Okay. I'm just getting started with the, the blues because I know huh? that that's my only option. And I'm going to overlap here. So I'm Ooh. glad I did not put the eagle there. No eagle. Yeah. So that that's already Ooh, making look at that. Um, that is scary. A nice blue trail. And I can just like plop my camp right there. All right. So you, you're, you're doing that? You're yeah. locked in? Yeah, Perfect. I'm locked in. That means I'm going to get this right now. So oh, I'm you did it? lock this one in here. Boom. Oh, no. And then this, look at this perfect card just to come right on in oh, here. Oh, beautiful. So now I have like this long Good winding job. trail. So all I need to do is just hook this back around and it's a nice trail. So Maybe you, I can get an animal on it. So you've completed a confined quarters. I did. Because you have two camps and they have no empty spaces surrounded. around them. So go ahead and place your player card right there. You Thank get you. the full six I points. I am this one. So now there's no rush Ooh. for me. How many How many uh, loops do you have? So on this each? has just one giant loop. Okay. It, it's, well, it's oh, not it's even not completed. Even complete. <laughs> it's not even completed. I'm yep, assuming time. in 12 cards I get to draft so sure. I can complete that. And this one has one? One. Okay. It, it has so. one, but if I can just bring this back around here, then it would be two. Okay. And then maybe I can get a third here. Right. I have no setup for the red. That's what I'm nervous about. I basically killed... The thing that's interesting about doing the confined quarters is I basically killed the the brown camp. Like, that's it. I'm not going to get any more... It is confined. Uh, it's confined because there's no more entry, enter, you know, entrances and exits yes. for me to make a new loop. Right. Um, the red one is almost done. It's just going to be blue. And so there are two more rounds. Y you could technically... I think if you did, like, an overbuild here and, like, looped around this I way... I could try to make two trails i don't know that's some advanced thinking that i am not prepared right, for right but uh, are you ready for the next round yes we need a new eight all right here we go round three six seven eight yeah and then we don't have a choice now we just place out your final camp right so mine of course is going to be my kayak corner and kayak where corner. oh is this interesting if i put this this i'm nervous this, this i have here, no idea what i'm doing or here i'm gonna put this here because it already has uh two kayaking trails leaving from it i've set it up a little bit yeah, I, I, I'm nervous. This is just, I think I'm going to have to put this here. <laughs> okay. Because putting this here just kind of kills that. Yeah, that's, that's a dead, dead end. This right. at least gets me the flexibility to kind of come in here. Yeah. Um, and then maybe I can just do something special. Yeah, sure. That's true. Oh, this, this is scary because you put animals on here, so you can't overlap any of them. All right, so go ahead and choose your first two trail cards. Choose my destination. Yes. Okay. All right, I've chosen my two. Yeah, I got my two. Here you go. Swappy. Swappy. Okay. So I'm going to place this here, and I'm I'm hoping I I it's hope moose. I don't fail. But there's a moose there, okay. So I'm definitely adding the moose right there, cause uh, who cares about the brown <sighs> over there? Who cares? I care. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna place this here. Oh, I what are you doing do with this blue something thing? Something fun with the blue. <laughs> Oh, right? no. I thought I had a nice little blue thing, I mean, but I don't think it's going to happen. It okay. needs to go home. It does like, need I, to get It home. obviously needs to go home for this to even count, so yeah, we'll see. But you set it up pretty nicely. Dang. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to bring in this one here. This okay. has a wolf on it, and I think, if, okay, if I do this right, I'm going to trail this way, Yeah. crossing over the wolf, and I just need to hook it back around this way. Right. I'm not forgetting about this. I know I definitely need to do that. <laughs> do you want the wolf? 
I think I'll take the wolf. Okay. Let's do it. It's one point, and I just have a goal. There you go. There you go. There's your wolf. Wolf it's on the just trail. hanging out on the side there. And then this um, one, mm -hmm. I like this one here. Um, the only thing is this buffalo is along the brown trail. I don't have any anticipation of me using this brown trail, so I'm going to leave it like this for some flexibility. That is the last type, by the way, if you're curious about what all the other uh, animals are. We have all five here, plus bison. That's the sixth yes. animal type. Yeah. And the bison's not happening. <laughs> Right. All right. Choose your next two. Yeah. All right. I'm definitely ready. There are uh, two yeah. perfect cards perfect. in here. That means I passed them to you. Yes, you did. Oh, shoot. It's hard. It's hard to pay attention to my map while you're trying to figure yours totally. out. Totally. Yeah. So here's there the next. you go. Can I just show you what it is? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so there's this oh. to connect that. Oh. And then there's this. Oh, no. So that uh, finished this red trail. This also gives me a... Um, what is that? A bobcat. bobcat? It's a bobcat. Yeah. So I get a bobcat Unbelievable. here. Wow. What a, what a card and combination. And in placing that, I believe I have the confined, the loop. confined quarters. Oh, confined quarters. So I got second place though. So it's only going to be three points okay. uh, as opposed to six at the end of the game. Is that a triple loop? And I have the, the loop. I'm the loop junkie. I have two camps with this is one, two, and this is three. And then this one is one, two, three. I kind of cheated a little. I didn't cheat, but like this is not... <laughs> The most uh, awesome trail, lucrative, yeah, I guess, but it still helps. It's really me uphill. Meet. It's a challenging trail. <laughs> Chunky go, yeah, it's hiking. Come on. So player pieces wise, Monique's is this kind of purple backdrop. Yeah. The, the, the nighttime sky. I'm yes. the daytime kayaking one. Right. All right. Well, I have something a little, a little cheap, kind of like what you were saying. So okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loop this around. Oh, that's and great. Putting that moose there, so I'll take the moose. Yeah, I. I respect. totally understand. I respect that. There you cool. go. Moose, come to me. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to just do it again. I have another just back loop. Okay. Just just looking <laughs> for loops. Looking for loops because I think uh, I think it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I still have to close this off. I will I... have you know, there's one more round. So you want to make sure that that last round, you're still building something. Why you got to do this to me? So man? you've closed this out. You only have this kind of opening. Which I is mean, just a straight stick. You could spend the entire last round trying to build out a really awesome loop here. Because right. it is only six cards. You've sold me. Yeah, because that way you can, hmm. I don't know. Oh, you have sold me. You've changed my mind. Maybe I don't do this, and maybe I just do something silly and bring <laughs> well, this in. Well, I also don't want to ruin, me. ruin you, because what if you don't actually end up completing the loop? <laughs> yeah, that's you know? a scary thing. Like, score the points. That is still the most important thing. So I've kind of reconsidered what I have here. Okay. I think I want to do this here. Okay. Putting this animal there. Keeping oh, the moose. Oh, ruined. careful. Okay. Okay. And then this, I think I'm going to bring in over. What did I do? <laughs> I was like, I thought you had it. Considered. I had it considered. Oh no, Naveen, you're you're scaring Such a me. Ruiner you're of things. Me no, no, it's this. Anxiety. Okay. It's this. So this is the goal is to get this into here. So okay. that closes that loop up. The goal is to get this into here. Okay. And the goal is to figure out some way to just get that in there. Okay. Uh, the last round is still only six cards. Still only six cards. So don't cards. make huge plans because you also have this. If you can close this out. That is definitely in the plans. The thing that's neat about cards like this is this feature will will uh, count for twice. If you can do this and then wrap around and go back into that's, there. Yeah, the plan. And that's a two-point feature versus yeah. one. I, I probably bit off more than I can chew. Well, but... That's Trailblazers, right? That is, yeah. All right, so choose your last two cards of the round. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, I've chosen my last two cards. Are you I got ready? My, yeah, I have my okay. two. Okay. So these Drop get discarded, it. please. Down, out, Thank you. Out. And I'm just going to place this here uh, and hopefully, hopefully do something with this kind of sneaky, sneaky <sighs> path. That's scary. And I'm going to place this here. No need to place the bear because it is for a red trail and it's definitely not going to connect to the bike shack. Okay, so you're all set? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here. Um, this buffalo is really not doing anything for me, so I'm not going to mess with it. Okay. Uh, and then this one, I'm going to finally just close off this blue so I don't make a big boo-boo in the very end. Nice. So this is all nice and long. Good. And I'm so glad that you did I that. I knew I was going to be able to do it. I, I wanted to find myself in a position where I didn't have many red yeah, in my hand. Yeah, that's true. I had and, very little and red. A corner turn is fairly easy to find. Yeah, I feel. yeah. So yeah, I had very little red in my hand, so I was yeah. like, this is the time. Finish it off now. Take sure. this turn, and then hopefully in the next round, I can see a lot of red. <laughs> A lot. Yeah, we will see. It's only going to be 16 cards. So are you ready for yes, that last round? I am ready. All right. Final round. Last eight cards. a ton of red each. and a little bit of brown. All right. Do you have eight? I have eight. Yes. Okay. okay perfect. All right. So choose your cards. Eight. Okay. I got my two cards. All right. Fine. I'm going to choose these two as well. I feel like they are too good to pass up. Too good. To so pass there's up. that. 
Uh, I'm, you know, we're crunched for time, so I'm just going to go ahead and close this off now. Ooh. I had to seize the day with okay. that, that one. And then I'm going to try to kind of extend this a little bit, but there's a bobcat there. Okay. If I can complete this, then great. If not, I guess it's, what, what can you do? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to yep. slip this one in here, and then I'm going to do a nice. complete overbuild like okay. that. Oh, I like it. So this com this closes off. Yeah. Uh, this buffalo here will not score, so yeah, just for just I'm just going to leave it. Okay. And then this bear right here is also kind of just in the way. I'll just leave that as well because it's on the brown trail. Yeah. So that closes that off, and then hopefully I can candy cane my way in here. Very and good. And find my way there somehow. I like how you maintain this That was trail. tough. That was really tough. <laughs> All right, so next two cards. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm going with these two. These two. It's a little me. bit of a risk. We'll see. There you go. I don't know what's in your hand. If only I remembered what cards we were passing back and forth. Uh, yeah, I know. But alas, I did not. I'll place this one here. So I'm going to do that. And here. And, ooh. Oh. <laughs> we're both like, I don't know. I'm going to do just, this. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just I'm just making a, a kayaking trail, you know? Huge. As people do. All That's right. the last trail you built too, right? That. Huh? Was that the third tra uh, track? Camp? Oh, like, yeah. yeah, that's the last camp. Wow. Okay. okay so I'm placing these two. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take the wolf that goes here. Okay. So this here. closes this loop off. There you go. You get a little wolf. Thank you. And then this one has this bobcat here. Honestly, I I, I'm, I don't think in, in two, two cards, cards, I'm not going to open a hook around. <laughs> I really wanted to hook this around to get connected here because then it would have been the three and three. I mean... You really just need a loop. Like if you had a brown loop yeah, that was like this. I didn't see any in this draft. You don't put the bobcat and then you just add the loop and then you'll have a, I know. a loop for that. Unfortunately, but... none in this draft. All right. Well, choose your final two cards. Sure. See if you can close some stuff. All right. I'm going to go with these two because nice. I found a, made a, a way to make this work. I don't know if it's like the most net amount of points, but sure. it still feels pretty Looking good. Looking good over there. So. Yeah. So, <laughs> does right. this card these? Trash, trash. Um, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to connect this to this. Okay. So it's not like a huge deal, but it still closes it, right? If I do that and like You just have this. one massive loop? No, I have two I have massive loops. Two fairly <laughs> sized loops in the water zone. Uh, that's not good. That's one of the uh, end game scoring conditions. I mean, I'm sure there are people out there who could make even more awesome trails that kind of just like snake and go all the way around the back door, but yeah. that's not uh that's not me. That's so. not it. Well, okay, so I'm gonna bring this one in. It's going to close this off. So oh, I got nice. A nice completion. No animals there, though, unfortunately. That's okay. And I really wish I had a perfect loop, like the way I had one. Um, yeah. Like those, this this thing, I don't know. I can't find it anymore. Yeah, <laughs> like this. Like that. <laughs> but on but one on card, card, like yes. this. Like this one over there. Yeah, like Actually, that, right? You have two of them. Ah, so those what are the ones needed? I needed. <laughs> Had it been there, it oh, would have just connected this. I'm so sorry. And I would have had three and three, and then I would have gotten onto this, but I'm not going to score that now. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. I know. Well, it is <laughs> what it is. The game is done. So shall we go into endgame score? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. And for this, we actually have a scoring sheet. So we're just going to go ahead and go down the line. It makes it nice and easy to do that. On the scoring sheet, by the way, it, it includes the animals as a separate scoring condition. I think we're just going to include the animals when we count each trail. How's mm -hmm. that? Sure. All right. So starting with the hiking trails, which are the brown ones. Shall yeah. We go first or do you want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Uh, I just realized something as you're pulling out that sheet. I got so distracted here. Uh-huh. I just totally oh, no. did not pay attention here for rounds and rounds <laughs> and rounds. So this score is not going to be very good because I wait. Look at oh, how much no. resources I wasted building here for yeah. no reason. When all I had to do is go bloop, bloop, and then just kind of move it in. So yeah. uh, I'm so sorry. It's a good way to show what the chaos of what can happen yes, in this game. That uh, can happen. Do because not you're trying lose, to get it all done. Don't lose track of your open trails. I lost track of my trails. They wind and wind and wind. Yeah. All right. Wow. So let's they go just, with so the this ones. This is just not a thing anymore. All right. So all that rounds. Oh, wasted. Wow. Oh, sorry. Just Dave. give me an extra eight points. Okay. <laughs> you got it. All right. So then this is your, your my one only. Loop, right? Yeah. Okay. Because again, it has to start and end at the same colored camp. Sure. So... Let's count your features first. And so again, the features are at every bend and intersection. So it's going to be one, two, three. These are rocks, four, five, right? And then one bear. And then one for your bear. So that's six. Six What would that have been? Six. For hiking trails. It should have been seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, probably, probably 16, sixteen, back to seventeen. Yep, eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. Uh, 
It would have been like an extra 10 points. Sorry about that, Naveen. Yeah. We'll keep that in mind. We'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Because I wasted turns yeah, doing, doing this. That. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I have three loops in my, my hiking gear shop. So this is, these two are pretty much identical. It's going to go one, two. There's two features plus one for the animal. So it's three. three. Same thing for this one. An Four, another five, three. Six. So it's six. And then I have this one here. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay. Right? All right, so then next we have the bike shack. Sure. So Naveen, you were working on that real hard. Yeah. Um, okay, so, so we have three loops. Let's go with one. this loop first. It's okay. the smallest one. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then we have this one here. It's one, two, three, four, five. So another 10 yep. total, plus the one animal here. So, so it's 11. 11. Uh -huh. uh, and then we have this one. It's one, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, mm -hmm. 16, 17. Yep. And then because I have two animals, it's going to be another three. So it's 20 so points. 20 points. That's nice. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, I have three loops in my bike shack. I just have this simple one. So it's one, two. I have this is the next one. So three, four, five, six plus the one animal. So seven. And then I have this one here. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh -huh. Plus two animals, so, so 21. 21. Oh, that's real close. So just by one point. And then finally, we have the kayak corner. Mm. So let's go. To I just kayak. have one long one, but okay. you ended up getting some snakes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. I should have put that both up. Nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 12 13, 13. And then I have uh, two animals. So 16? 16, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's true. You should have put the buffalo. I know. Uh, sometimes you you can't really tell. That would have been an extra three points? Um, That's one, three, six, yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours was 16, so yours was 13 in length, right? 13 in length. Because we have to keep that in mind for this, for the forever float, uh, yes. the longest single kayaking uh, loop. Okay, so I think I have two. I have two loops. Okay. So there's this one, the non-animal one. Oof. So it's one, two, three, four. Oh, I should have put, oh, no, never mind. Sorry. Let me start over. I saw the eagle get yeah. distracted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, I'm going to put a little fourteen no. here just so I can remember that that's what that is. Shoot. And then this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow. Plus two animals. So, so 17. 28. So 17 plus 14. 17, yeah. So 28 plus 3. So 31. 31. Wow. Okay. So 31 oh, in, destroyed. in the kayak goals. And I think my loop was bigger. It was bigger. On the yeah. kayak. So I get this end game. I get the small one. You get this. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, the harmonizer. So this is most complete sets of loops. So I have. Uh, Two sets, definitely. I have well, three, I only have three. one because of this mistake right here. So it's okay. just one set, unfortunately. So then I'm sorry, Nabi. <laughs> yeah. goes there. But, but I do get, get a little three. consolation three. I'll take it. Yeah. So it's now not good when, you're, when you've when you got three to one on that. Yeah. I think a lot of it kind of fed into itself, mm -hmm. right? So uh, in-game goals, I, it looks like I have a total of nine. So six plus three is nine. Nine. And then uh, minus you six. have six yep. for that one. Um, and then the end game goals, I have six plus six is 12. Okay. And you have six. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm just going to do a little bit of math and then I'll get back to you. Sure. All right. Final scores are in. And it looks like a Naveen with 54 to me with 84. Yeah. So that is, uh, that's it. Yeah. You were <laughs> still going to beat me here. But, uh, I would give myself 12 more points Let's do for it. doing this What's here. 12 plus 54? 60, 66 to 84. To 84. Instead. We'll say you completed that. Yes. Because you probably would have. I just, remember? I just was so, yeah, yeah, not focused. You wasted some cards on this uh, bottom totally. trailer here. Yeah. There was definitely turns and then like building this out is just yeah. like doing nothing. So, but I will say that with each play of this, we've probably gotten better, right? You just maintain your distance on me. So Monique is puzzle. very good. I, I am horrible at Ryan Courtney games. I, I the just, pipeline I, you're pretty good at. I'm pretty bad at it. The economy? Because like the, well, the, there's like a little bit more like, yeah, economy It's stuff the abstract going. part. It's the abstract right? part that I really struggle with. So yeah, you were overbuilding and like, 
That was really I mean, good. That's what you want to do in a game like this. It's fast. It's fast, but you also really want to figure out how to make these trails kind of snake and yeah. do what you want to do with them. It never feels good to do a complete overbuild, and I did that twice in this game. I mean, it's. I if think it, I did. If it gets oh, you, I did it once in this game. Yeah. If it gets you to complete that loop, it did. Yeah. Do it. I've yeah. I've definitely completely overbuilt uh, a couple of times in the that's past. Happen. Yeah. Yeah. So. But yeah, you gotten your scores keep going up. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> that was impressive how you did the kayak. And that was your last camp that you put out? I kind of just set aside the last two rounds to just, I'm going to work on the kayak corner. Mm -hmm. Just 12, 12 uh, yeah. cards of flexibility. Just all that, all that, right? yeah. So. Good draft, yeah. Anyway, yeah. that is Trailblazers. Again, this is a game that is currently on Kickstarter. It mm -hmm. plays up to eight people. So with a higher player count, you use two decks of those trail cards. Mm -hmm. um, so clearly for a two-player game, we just used one. one. Yep. And again, there is another expansion. So we use the Animal expansion. There is the Adventures one as well. We right. did not play with today. And if you are a solo gamer, there's also rules for solo gameplay. Mm -hmm. And so if you are interested in checking out the, the uh, Kickstarter, we've included a link to the campaign below. But until then, if you have any questions about anything that you saw here today, including any rules clarifications, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.